right mamas welcome back to my channel and yes it's two uploads in the week i know who am i I'm back to my old self i guess let me just move this back so all right yeah i already know the deal y'all know i'm out of breath but we're gonna do a quick story time and this is basically a recent event i do have some clips i'm gonna add in probably after i talk about Either I might add them in next or they might be at the end. I don't know. But you're going to see the clips of me actually at the hospital when all of this took place. But this is going to be a story time about the other day. So today's Friday. And I basically fell. I fell on... I fell on Tuesday, so this is a story time about me falling, and if you are expecting mama, please be careful because this was very scary. So if you're interested in hearing this story time about me falling the other day, just stay tuned and keep on watching. So, why did I fall today, y'all? And I'm at the hospital now. Everything is fine. They are going to keep me for another 30 minutes. I'm on a set of baby, but yeah, I fell today on the floor. That shit hurt so fucking bad. My back hurts and my leg, but I'm gonna be good. I'm so hungry. <sighs> They have this machine like hooked up to my belly. This is what's happening over here. I don't know what the machine is to show y'all, but that's that. That's freaking IV. It's like a little like hell. I'll come on him and vlog and just let you guys know like what's going on and what's happening also the baby is head down which is good and I'm not sure how much he weighs but he's head down and I have a picture of him too I'm gonna show you guys chicken sandwich or olive garden so we'll see what i get and i'll check back in okay so basically tuesday morning i was getting ready um i was about to actually get ready to go to work and stuff so i had already sent my kids out no the kids didn't have school actually so i was getting ready to go to my mom's house to drop them off so i got up the night prior i had noticed it was like oil spoke on the floor so i thought i swiffered up all the oil apparently i didn't so when i got up to walk to go turn my alexa like the volume up i know i just like i was about to fall so basically right over here in the room is a clothes rack so i tried to grab the clothes rack but i ended up missing the bar and i actually grabbed the hanger so of course my ass i'm big as fuck i'm heavy i fell <laughs> when i tell y'all i fell and like kind of did a like something like this this was one leg this was the other this is like my grown area and i hit a lot of my grown area on the floor and it hurt so fucking bad my oldest son he came running downstairs because you know he heard me i'm like i, I must have made like noise when i fell he must have heard the noise and my little one he was taking a shower so my oldest one he came he tried to help me up 
whatever the case I got up so when I initially got up honestly honestly I wasn't in pain so I'm like okay I might be fine to just to just go to work but I'm like I'm gonna text my doctor and I'm um, see what my doctor said, says so my doctor tells me I have to come in I'm gonna go in so I text my doctor he finally when he does get back to me basically he calls me he's like no you have to go to the hospital even though I did not fall on my belly I did not fall on my belly guys but he's like you have to go to the doctor I mean you have to go to the hospital because you fell and you're pregnant and I'm 28 weeks so you know I guess anything could happen. He's like, you know, you could have you could have um, messed with the placenta or like the amniotic sac. If it's they have to check, I guess, to see if fluid is leaking. If the placenta got messed with, um, they're like, truth be told, you can even deliver. Apparently, if you fall early and like stuff happens, you can you can deliver your baby early. So I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm like, oh my god. But I'm like, I'm not in pain, you know. I'm like, okay, so cool. I'm going to go to the hospital. And now I'm going to tell y'all about the hospital experience. All right, so my hospital experience. I got to the hospital. I told them what happened. I told them I really wasn't in pain. I'm, no, actually, by this time, I was in a little bit of pain. But it was more of like my groan and my leg was just like starting to hurt a little bit. So I'm telling them about that. Um, they fast-tracked me to labor and delivery. I'm getting in a minute. I'm in the room. So once I get in the room, they're telling me like, okay, so what's going to happen? We're going to listen to the baby. We're going to monitor his heart rate. We're going to check your cervix. <laughs> we're going to check and see if any fluid, if your water, like, you know, those type of vibes, those type of things. They're like, we're going to take blood. And I'm like, great. And we're going to give you ultrasound. So I'm like, okay, this is like a lot happening for me to really not be in too much pain so long story short my doctor happened to be at the hospital i wasn't even supposed to go to the hospital but i ended up going to the hospital where i'm supposed to deliver at so my doctor was there i guess he had just like delivered a baby and then of course they told him that i was here because i am his patient so he had to come and check on me we spoke he's like you know how you look i'm pretty sure nothing's gonna be wrong with you you know we're just gonna run the regular test just to confirm um yada 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 and then he leaves so the first thing they do is they give me IV. Well, they put the, the thing in my hand in case I have to get an IV. Fucking hurts. Still hurts. I have to, I got mine like over here. My veins are really bad. So, yeah. Then they had to check my blood type, which I know my blood type, but I guess they wanted to have like my blood type on file because I, I haven't went to that hospital before. Um, So they did that. I guess they checked the baby blood too. I don't really remember. They took tubes of blood they made me do my urine they didn't really check my urine though but they made me do my urine after they did my urine i want to say and i'm in it of course everything took a little bit of time like it wasn't super fast like how i'm telling you because i was in the hospital for about three hours so after they did my urine they checked my cervix which was fucking annoying because if you ever had a baby or but in that experience, you know, getting your cervix checked is annoying. Sorry, I keep looking at my phone. I'm actually about to get ready to leave. So they had checked my cervix and stuff to see if I was dilating. I was not dilating. I had initially went to get an ultrasound. They did a vaginal ultrasound as well as a regular ultrasound. That ultrasound literally took a fucking hour. It was like I was getting my anatomy scan done all over again. It was super long. It took about an hour. But they did that. She gave me pictures of the baby. She said everything looked fine. And long story short, I was okay. Um, I'm just grateful and blessed by the grace of God that I was okay. I didn't, my baby wasn't in any harm. I didn't hit any parts that I should not have hit. Like, I was just really lucky to be okay. And it's so scary because you don't think of these things like fall. Like, I would have never thought I would have fell, you know? And... It's just like, it's scary, guys. You have to be careful and definitely make sure you are aware of the room, I guess, and surfaces and just pay attention. But long story short, my baby is fine. He's kicking, he's moving. Um, they just told me like, okay, once they told me I was fine and everything, they're like, you know, if you get any cramping, if, un if like unexpectedly your water breaks, of course, you have to go back to the hospital. But they're like, other than that, you should be fine and you should be able to take Tylenol. So, 
yeah and then the next day like i was in a, a lot of pain honestly that same day because my body hurt remember i'm heavy so my body hurt from falling but after that like the next day i was perfectly fine like thursday yesterday basically i was perfectly fine today's oh sorry y'all <laughs> today's friday i am perfectly fine and yeah that's pretty much it for this story time i know it was kind of quick but i definitely wanted to share this story with you guys especially my expected mamas who to watch me just so you have a heads up and be careful and like always i'm gonna see you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay blessed and stay safe mamas and have a good one Mwah.